Hey, what's up guys? It's been a long time. I've been wanting to get in contact with everybody and just wanted to put my face out there and say hello. So I hope everybody is doing great. It's a Friday and yeah, we'll get right into things. I wasn't really sure what I still needed to show. I guess it's been so damn long that a lot of the stuff that I thought that I didn't show, I actually did. So... I thought, what's going to be the premise behind this video? So, uh, I've said so about 12 times already, and I'm going to try to stop that. This video will be brought to you by Caribou Coffee, and I'm going to try to get through it. But we're going to do a quick shout out. I went through my last probably 8 to 10 videos, just went through, looked at all the people that commented, and then there's a few other guys in there that... Um, just wanted to give a quick shout out. If I don't mention you, I apologize, and I'm sure it's not going to wreck your weekend. So, uh, but I do have much love for everyone. I've been terrible with watching videos lately. I do try to comment when I can. Basically, what's happening is about 10 o'clock, my head hits the pillow. I try to throw on a, uh, like a group break video or something like that, and I'm out within a matter of minutes. So, but I have seen some good stuff, and yeah, she's been busy. Conference time's coming up, school's been kicking the butt, um, football season is moving right along, so we will get into it. Uh, shout outs to Mr. Wesker Griff, thank you for commenting as always, sir, it was great to see you with... Uh, Mike and Dave and the crew at Nationals. Hopefully you can make it out to Chicago next year. Jason, Mr. Fisherbike, you probably hate my guts by now because I owe you a... I think you've been waiting on this card for probably close to a month now. Um... It's just been kicking my ass. Anything that should take a guy one day to do, it's been taking me three weeks. Because I've been tired. But um, Jason, I owe you that one. Uh, Mike, Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. Things are rocking and rolling on the group bank page. That's awesome. Um, Dave's Midlife Card Crisis. What's up, Dave? Uh, always good to see you on Facebook. Uh, Mike, MD Pitt. Resident Steelers fan, Josh, Style Style 21, a new papa. Uh, been texting with Josh a little bit. He's not getting much sleep. so, But that's understandable as a new papa. Ricky Russo, of course. Brett, Boston Broncos fan. Jones Nation. I appreciate it, sir. You comment on a lot of the videos, and I, I, really, I really appreciate that. Uh, Brad8671, I did watch Brad's last video, always love the football insights, it's fantastic. Zane the man, keep doing your thing. Little man, hopefully you stay with cards as you, as you continue to grow up. Uh, ben, the crew, uh, Zach, Stoddy, Tom, Mike, Gathman, Mickey, um... Taking my lumps in fantasy football. Injuries are killing me. But I um, had a big night from Mike Evans last night. So let's hope that all that stuff comes around. I just submitted my card for our league. It only took me eight weeks. Like I said, things are taking me a while, but I got her in. Um, Mike O with the baseball vlogs. You guys go check him out, please. Uh, always doing new packs, of new releases, and... Uh, doing baseball blogs on all kinds of subjects, so that's awesome. Dan Staluka one <laughs> sun's out, guns out. Joe Henderson, my man, the bearded man. Uh, Tommy Golf, Tommy, what's up, brother? See you a lot on the group break page. That's good to see. Uh, Bears nine McMahon. He's probably loving that weather down there in Florida. Um, Armando, what's up, man? Uh, Drew, Lefty NDV, congratulations on getting married, my brother. Um, it's fantastic. Looks like you're out in, in Vegas for a little bit, so that's very cool. So 
Hope all is well. Hope everything is settling down. Tops 85401. With the Bonds collection, I actually uh, have a few Bonds that I got from one of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, vending packs or whatever. So I, I typically, I stash my Bonds. Uh, Denny Wagner, Den 1013, hope all is well. Mark Kirkendall, Big Fish 7499, Ben G76 Show. Formerly Ben GTTM. I still owe Ben the McGriff. So I've got to get that out to him. Um, Ryan at our bad crew seven and Neil and Tyson. Uh, love all you dudes. Uh, big shout out to Ryan. I, I had contacted him a while back when I had my buddy coming. We were going to open up some stuff. And you guys already know this, but one of the most honest gentlemen in the business. Um, and I can't say enough how much I appreciate that. Uh, had given me a, a box price and just said, I don't expect you to pay that. There's They're selling for this much on. But, you know, as, a, as an owner, you got to be able to sell a product for a little bit more than what you paid for it and um, so I appreciate the honesty that was that was cool to me to see a business owner that was but we all know that we all know that so now on to cards six seven minutes of talking so we are on to cards now I do have a com C uh, I, I submitted some cards so I do have a little fundage in there I've been picking off uh, cards for the signature set. Um, as it sits right now, I am 21 cards short. Some of these are marked marked with uh, Com C because they are coming in. But basically, what I'm down to is a lot of the cards to 99 and some Hall of Famers. And people are asking ridiculous prices for these things. What was it? Uh, like a Marcus Stroman for the Blue Jays? I don't know if he's like a big time prospect or not, but people are asking like $30 and $40 for his auto to two ninety nine. That's eBay for you, I guess. So there's that. Uh did want to make a quick comment on Com C. I wanted to see where you guys stood on it. But what I've noticed is when you submit cards, typically what I do is I'm not on there to to jack people up or doing like that because I that originally started the whole purpose was you could go in there, find cards at a good price, and just pay one one shipping fee. And people are just trying to just trying to rob people on there now and it pisses me off. I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but it's it's gotten completely out of hand. What people do is they will jack their prices way the hell up there and then they run these sales to make it look like they're they're cutting the cost like by 90% or whatever, but anytime I go into a sale now, I look at what the suggested retail prices and then I look at what they've got their cards priced at and I know if they're way overpriced then I'm not even going to mess with them but so when I go in I go and I price my cards lower than the lowest uh, similar card is and I still can't move them because the only way that I've been able to really move cards through quickly was if I ran sales and they gouge you like three bucks a day per sale. Then they take another 3% or whatever it is off of that. So whatever, I'm just going to let it ride. But I guess what happens when you get to be the big boys, you know? You start fucking milking people for fees and all that other shit. It is what it is. Let me guys know what you think about that. Also on Com C, I've been picking up some things. I, I've some of these stories I've explained probably fifteen times on here, but I way back when did the uh, two thousand two Flare Platinum Clubhouse Collection set, and I uh, gave away 
the Thomas, Frank Thomas, to a friend. And there's always one or two out there, but to me they're overpriced. So I found one on Com C. Check out my cards for like four ninety nine. Snatched it up. That set is now uh, totally complete. It had been complete before. Like I said, I gave that one away and thought oh, I'll just pick it up again. But my goal is to get all of those screw downed and team bagged. Jason, I need to get with you to see if I can we can grab some of the or if I can get some of the perfect fit for that. Then I will do a set completion of that one. And then of course this one, whenever it comes, this one will probably be sometime. I don't know. I'd like to do it within the next year, but the Canerco out of ten. Might be a tough one, but I'll pay whatever I need to when that comes up again. Should be 40, 50 range. I'm not going to go into the hundreds, but, or I'm not going to go 99, 100, but if I got to pay 50, 60 bucks, I will do it. So if you guys see that one, Silver Signatures, Paul Canerco to 10. That's the lowest numbered card in the, in the set. Now, these were, this was from the vending box. Kind of cool. A Barry Bonds. Like I said, I paid $4.99 for this vending box. There's a nice Jeter. Um, I think these came from it too. Willie Mays. There's another Willie Mays. Mickey Mantle. Another Mickey Mantle and another Willie Mays. So I might run out there today. And then there were two Jackie Robinson insert cards. So for $4.99, pretty damn nice. And then you got these were part of it the Smoltz and the um, Pat Henkin. Those were in there. Big Frank was part of that. And then, of course, you had the um, Hobby Masters. You had the Ripken and the Griffey. So the Ripken and the Griffey paid for the box alone. Uh, the only thing was all the cards stuck. So that was awesome. I might uh, grab another one of those if I, if I can. So Most of you will probably have not stuck around to this point, so I will just show you the shit anyway. Two eBay pickups, uh, or three, these were all 99 cent free shipping from 1516 Hoops. Chris Anderson and his Grizzlies uniform. Uh, 1516, what did I say, Prism? That's hoops. This is prism. This is like a refractor-ish version. Prism, prism version. So that's cool in the heat uniform. And then this is the regular, regular refractor version. So I'm going to be on the lookout for more of those. And then this one. And then we'll end this video. <clears throat> kind of a funny story. It's not really funny, but I got into a group break with Chad Firehand, and uh, it was like a three-box deal. He had one of the 8x10 autographs, autograph ball, and then historic autographs, baseball, baseball. And it's one card per box. I ended up getting the letter C. He pulled this card. And it's uh, from a friend and foes subset. So these are historic autographs. Now, if you guys don't recognize those signatures, you are not alone because no one else has a effing clue what they are. But um, I'm not sure if somebody... Was this, this is a Leaf product, right? Yeah, 
somebody with the company has their head up their ass or what, but um, these two gentlemen, like Steve Cother and Levi Chiget or something like that, but um, these are actually horse jockeys. They both won the Triple Crown. So possibly some dumbass at Leaf was asked to go out and find signatures of Triple Crown winners, and he found fucking jockeys. Uh, yeah, so I will probably just keep that because it's kind of a neat piece because, you know, the Triple Crown is something that is pretty rare, but what an idiot. But you guys aren't idiots, and I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Watch some college football. Drink some beer. Eat some ribs or whatever the hell else you want. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.